What's going on YouTube family? Today, in this episode of the Strengths Log, we are gonna be going over my five main tips for increasing your bench press. Now, these five main tips are based around your setup for the exercise. That's how much the setup plays a role in how much you can push. So, let's get into it. Okay, tip number one is making sure you are aware of your grip width. So, depending on the person, how broad your shoulders are, how long your arms are, all that type of stuff, there's, there's so many things that come into play, you will have a different grip. Okay, someone with super, super long arms and broad shoulders will go a lot wider than someone with like real short limbs. Okay, so you've got to think generally, I go as a base, start pinky finger on the little ring, the bare ring on the outside, and then work your way in or out depending on how the exercise is feeling. For me personally, I go ring finger, straight down, straight up. All right, now we have tip number two. Now this is to do with actually how you grip the bar. A lot of people will go with your suicide or your um, false grip. That will reduce your effectiveness at the bench press if you're going for just moving weight, okay? So what we wanna do is we wanna grab the bar with the thumb over and you wanna squeeze the bar as hard as you possibly can. Now it's been proven in a number of different studies and articles that the harder you grip, the more motor units you fire, the more muscle fibers you fire, and the stronger you will be, the more you can recruit. So thumb over and squeeze the bar as hard as you can, almost like you're trying to bend it. And then we have tip number three. Now, personally, I find this the most valuable tip of the entire five. And that is to do with your shoulder blades. So when you're going back on the bench, what you basically wanna do is you wanna retract your shoulders and pinch your shoulder blades together as hard as you possibly can. This, in effect, basically gives you an awesome support system for when the weight is coming down. Now, you'll see a lot of people on the bench press, when they start to fail, they'll be coming up and one shoulder will go out a bit and they'll, they'll roll it in. You see it on dumbbells, you see it on even shoulder press where they're like, like this. That is because the scapula is not all nice and tight and locked in. The scapula slips out and then you lose stability through the shoulder. So what we wanna do is when we're on that bench press, you wanna lock your shoulders right back in place, squeeze your shoulder blades together and maintain that. You're gonna get a lot more power through your laps, your serratus, everything like that. If you find that really hard, then you may have a weak serratus anterior, which there are a few different exercises that I can explain in a different video that will strengthen that up for you. Tip number four. This is to do with kind of the lower body. And you might think, what the hell are you doing with your lower body in a bench press? But the lower body is surprisingly important in this movement. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna squeeze your glutes as hard as you possibly can, get the core as tight as you can, and plant your feet really nice and stable. You wanna drive your feet into the ground, okay? All your power, a lot of your power is coming from your lower body. With the bench press, it's like any big compound movement. You're not isolating a muscle. So in the bench press, yes, a lot of people do it on chest day, but it is not just isolating the chest. There are so many different muscle groups that are coming in and helping on the bench press. And this video isn't about um, increasing activation through the chest on bench press or getting a bigger chest through bench press. It's about moving more weight. And how do you move more weight? You recruit more muscle fibers, put your body in a better position to push from. Okay, isolating and all that bodybuilding style of training, you wanna put your body at a really disadvantaged position or angle to try and take as much other muscles out as possible and just isolate one particular muscle or one particular joint. The bench press, you wanna recruit as much as you possibly can so that at the end of the day, you can push more weight. 
All right, now we're on tip number five, our final tip, and that is to do with your elbow position during the movement. So you'll find a lot of people love to bench press really square on and almost 90 degrees, coming a lot further up the chest, okay? What we want to do, and you'll see here, is we want to dip the elbows down a little bit closer towards the rib cage. So we're coming in a little bit. We're not out here, we're coming in a little bit. What that does is it allows you to recruit a hell of a lot more of the shoulder, the triceps, it locks the back in nice and tight, and it just means that you are using a hell of a lot more muscle, muscle mass, muscle fibers, motor units, you're firing a hell of a lot more than this position here. Okay, so when you're coming down, Elbows are going to be slightly bent, tucked in, should I say, and then driving up. So that is the fifth and final tip. All right, guys, that is it for my five tips for increasing your bench press. Head to the gym, implement them into your own workouts. Let me know how you go, if it helps you. I love hearing all your stories, um, if I helped you or anything like that. So keep me updated. Remember, if these fundamentals are new to you and they're totally different to what you have been doing it may take a few weeks even a month or so for your body to get used to it for you to get used to it so it may feel a bit weird at the start but stick with it because the thing with these big movements is you need your your foundations or your core fundamentals of the exercise to be nailed down because you cannot build or perform to your highest standard on shaky techniques shaky fundamentals okay and it's the same with any exercise, any big compound exercise, or even any exercise, you're not gonna get the gains in strength, in muscle mass, anything, if you're not nailing down the basics. So try it out, let me know what you think. If you guys like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel, give it a like, share it with your friends, let me know what you guys wanna see in future Strength Log episodes, and I will get it sorted. Cheers, guys.